Well, it's Saturday morning, and we're trying to get the day together here. It's actually not the morning. It's more like afternoon, like 1 o'clock. I went to a conference uh, with my work over this past week. I was gone. I left Wednesday, gone all day Thursday, came back Friday. It wore me out, so I've kind of been just laying around, not doing much today. But it's time to get our day together. So there's three things we're going to try to accomplish today. Number one, try to go buy tractor supply and get us some new chicks. Number two, a few weeks ago our main fridge completely zonked out. No longer working. We had that we had an extra fridge down in the basement. We brought it up, but the water does not connect to it. So I'm gonna to try to go buy Lowe's and get what we need and make the water work so we can have water and ice uh, from the refrigerator. And then the third thing I'm going to try to accomplish today, a task that Lindsay gave me. Uh, she's been looking at a lot of these minimalism blogs and YouTube vlogs, things like that. And so we are trying to become at least more so minimalist. So she's been really working hard to pare down what we have in the house. So she's wanting to gather a big load and take it to the Goodwill or something like that. So that's three things. Uh, it's one o'clock, I gotta go to work at uh, Papa John's around four, so not much time to get these three items accomplished. Here we go. So we're here behind the fridge trying to figure out what it is we need. Here's the connection. As you can see here, I can get you in here. Here's where it's got to connect, right there. So I need something slightly larger than this. So we are on our way. We got an extra task added. We've got to get the trash to the dump. We live in the county, so nobody comes and gets our trash for us. We have to take it to the dump. We're going to go on and get the chicks and go to Lowe's. Uh, it's two, almost 2.30. So hopefully we can get this all done in time. What do you think? Yeah! And we also got our Goodwill stuff loaded up. What do you think, Mercy? Good. What do you think, Sue? I think about hats. Hats? All right, here we are at Tractor Supply, sit back Grace, to get our chicks. So we're going to go in the store, we're going to talk to them, we're going to choose them. Um, you, are you all going to be good? Okay, don't be asking a bunch of questions, don't be running around. Okay, here we are at Tractor Supply. Let's go. Yeah, wow. Ago, remember? There's baby ducks on the other side. What do you think, Sue? Susanna, what do you think? So we've got five birds in that box. I'm getting ready to give us some more. We're getting pullets which are strictly females. All right, when we get home, because right now it is 3.40, uh, we have made it by to get the chicks. We made it by uh, Goodwill to drop off our stuff. We made it by Lowe's. I think I got the correct part. And now we are headed home, but it's 3.40. I've got to be at work at 4, so I'm not going to have time, Grace. I'm talking to you. I'm not going to have time to get its bed, all the bedding in the box ready for the chicks. So here's what you got to do. You need to get a Rubbermaid container. 
and then put like put a bunch of layers of newspaper down on the bottom of the container because what we'll do every day we're going to it'll be somebody's chore to go clean it out and they can just take off one layer of newspaper and leave the rest of the layers of newspaper down and uh, so each day we'll take off a layer of newspaper so there needs to be like at least we'll say like 10 or 12 layers of newspaper that could be my job okay so put down all the layers of newspaper and then we are going to very gently let the chicks out of their box there's a bunch of wood chips in the bottom of the box i'd just go ahead and spread them out on the bottom of the rubbermaid container and then we need to get a lamp and because that's kind of like their heat they still need some good heat so we're, we need a like you saw how they had a lamp shining on the chicks at tractor supply mm -hmm. and i also seen lots of videos of lamps beside chicks at the schools yeah so we need to do something kind of like that and shine a light on the chicks and that will help give them something to warm them up got it all right, so that's that's what you're going to have to do when we get home and help coach everybody else to do it. Because as soon as we get home, I've got to rush and get to work. Woo! That was a rush. We got home. I very quickly hooked up the fridge. That took me just a few minutes. Uh, so I didn't get any video of it because I did it real quickly. But we now have water and ice in the door of the refrigerator like the first time since we've lived in this house that we've had water and ice in the refrigerator our previous fridge didn't do it uh, so that will be a blessing we kind of made that a priority because we felt like the kids were not drinking enough water and so we think that maybe now that we have water and ice they can get some cold water hopefully they'll drink a lot more water um, I asked Lindsay to take some video. Uh, as soon as we got home, Grace took over the chicks and getting them all settled in a container. Uh, you know, I had told her everything to do. She already had it. When I was leaving, she already had it all layered with newspaper and she was putting the food in the food container. So I'm really interested to see how well she followed those instructions and uh, see those chicks. Hopefully Lindsay gets some video of that so that we can share. Guys, what have you got? Chicks. When did you get chicks? Today. Oh, how many do you have? Uh, ten. ten. Ten chicks. Daddy said we have ten. Oh, look how cute ten. they are. Can I hold one? Aren't they precious? Um, can I hold one? And me. We all want to hold one. Um. And Dad said we could all name one. Okay, just keep put your hand down in there. Don't lift it out. Cause Looks like they need their buddies to stay warm here, even though we've got a light over them. The one that you pick up, you're going to name. These little chicks are already starting to get oh, no. feathers. Oh, no, he had so. one poop. Yeah, you don't want to get your, you have to wash your hands. Oh. These are already getting little feathers on them, so they won't be this little for long. This one's the one I'm going to name. I'm going to name this one Tiny. Mm. Mom, like is this one a boy or girl? Chicks that we used to get when I was growing up. Um, Mom, is this a boy or girl? Well, I really don't know. We won't oh. know for several more weeks when they. Okay, then I'm going to name it a boy and girl name. Oh, okay. Mom, can you think of a boy and girl name? Murray. Well, you said you wanted to name it. Mm. Oh, that's mm. What do you think about Mom, the chicks, Bubs? I like them. Mommy! Mommy! Murray? Okay. Murray. So cute. How do you hold Hi, Molly. Hi, Molly. Hey, Sue. How do you hold You like the chicks? I don't know. Don't. Okay. This one's mine. This one is... Come. 